Welcome back, mathematicians, uh, to our final video that's going to be talking about um, partitioning uh, rectangles and circles into a certain amount of shares. Uh, this last one, we're, we're going to be partitioning the uh, shapes into four equal shares. And we'll learn what those are called uh, in a few minutes. All right. So looking at this shape, we've been talking about uh, partitioning. And for more information on what partitioning is, you can look back at the videos on halves and thirds. Uh, but basically, partition means to break into parts. So what we're going to do is take a look at this shape here, this rectangle. And we're going to partition the rectangle into um, four equal shares. If you take a look here, um, I'm looking at the rectangle here and I'm going to draw a line going straight down the middle and effectively what I've done is I've then made um, halves and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of the half it means I'm going to go to a half go to the middle of it and partition that and then I'm going to go to the other half and partition that. And now what I've done is I've created four uh, shares, four equal shares. And what I'm going to call these shares uh, is a name that's based on how many parts I have. Um, I have one, two, three, four shares. Are they equal? Yes, they're equal. They're taking up the same amount of space. Uh, what do we call? each share well I'm going to call it a fourth why because it takes four of these parts to make a whole I'm gonna call them a fourth so how many fourths am I pointing to right now one fourth how many fourths am I pointing to now one fourth how many fourths my pointing to one and this is also one fourth if you take a look here these are called fourths because um, it's one of what it takes four of to make a whole a whole shape okay um, to partition a circle into fourths I'm going to draw a line going straight down the middle and I'm going to draw a line going straight across the middle Uh, let me draw that one more time just for accuracy and precision. There we go. All right. Um, how many shares do I have? One, two, three, four shares. The whole is the circle. Um, I have one share, two shares, three shares, four shares. Are they the same, taking up the same amount of space? Yes, they are. So this would be called a fourth. This would be one fourth this would be one-fourth as well. As you can see, one-fourth is also a fourth of the entire shape. This would be one-fourth as well. This would be one-fourth. Okay. Alright, so looking here, we see that uh, a rectangle and a circle have been partitioned into four equal shares. Um, why are they called fourths? Because a fourth, and if you've been watching the videos for halves and thirds, you should be able to tell me why this is called a fourth. Let me pause for a second, and you can pause the video and see if you can uh, figure out why this is called a fourth. All right, this is called a fourth because a fourth is one of what it takes four of to make a whole. Isn't this true? Let's see. A fourth, we're going to call this piece right here a fourth because it is only one of what it takes one, two, three, four of to make a whole. We're going to call this piece right here a fourth because this is one of what it takes one, two, three, four of to make a whole. 
all right? So this is why we call it a fourth. And because we just counted, we kind of know how many fourths it takes to make a whole. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four what? Four fourths. Takes four fourths to make a whole. To make one whole. The other way of saying this is four fourths are the same as, that's what the equal sign means, one whole. Now, I do want to get into something uh, that I've been writing for the past three videos, but I do want to clarify. Um, fourths, this is actually called the noun. This is what we would call the unit that we're working with. And the number right here is the adjective. It's describing how many of the nouns do I have. How many of the things I'm counting do I have? So numbers will always be the adjectives. They tell us how many of something we have. The units will be the nouns. They tell us what we're actually counting. So four-fourths are the same as one whole. All right, walking away from this, we know that a fourth is one, one of what it takes four of to make a whole. And that means that every single um, every single share needs to be equal in order to be called a fourth. All right, let's go to uh, some pictures of uh, some rectangles and circles that have been partitioned to see if they are actually um, showing fourths or if they're just showing four shares. All right, taking a look at this picture right here, we see that there is one, two, three, four shares. Um, uh, We'd, we'd be tempted to call them fourths only if they are sh only if each of the shares are taking up the same amount of space. Uh, it does appear as if they are, so therefore we would call this a diagram that shows fourths. This is a fourth. This is a fourth. This is a fourth. This is a fourth. It takes one, two, three, four fourths to make a whole. All right, let's take a look at this picture of a circle as the whole, and let's see how many shares we have. One, two, three, four. We have four shares, but are they taking are they taking up the same amount of space? Are they equal? It doesn't appear as if this one is. This one appears way too small, um, smaller than this one actually. So while they're showing four shares, they are not showing equal shares. So they do not get the distinguished name of being called fourths. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. We have one, two, three, four shares, uh, and. Are each of the shares taking up the same amount of space? It would appear that way. Yes, they would. So therefore, we have um, we have a diagram that's showing fourths because we have four shares and they are four equal shares. Taking a look here, we have uh, one, two, three, four shares, and are they taking up the same amount of space? Yes, it appears as if they are. So therefore, we have. Uh, this is a fourth, this is a fourth, a fourth, and a fourth. So each of these pictures, um, each of these shares right here are equal, and there are four of them. They get a special name called fourths. So this is showing fourths. How many fourths is it showing? It's showing four fourths. As is this picture showing four fourths, as is this picture showing four fourths. This is showing four shares, but they are not equal, so they do not get the distinguished name of fourths. I hope that you've enjoyed this video series on uh, halves, thirds, and fourths. If you didn't get a chance to watch the previous videos on halves and thirds, please do so. They are very helpful in understanding how we got to this point. The next video that I have in the final video in this series will be on um, looking at uh, knowing that uh, sometimes the shares don't always have to have the same shape uh, as they do here. So as you, as you can see, the shares have had the same shapes. Um, but to be equal, they don't always have to have the same shape. And we'll go through that, um, which is going to be very helpful for you when you get um, to deal with something later on, uh, which I won't mention, but it'll be helpful for you in third grade, when you deal with third grade math in the Common Core. All right, I'll see you on the next video.